Rubble here with Grand Dunes Landscape and Maintenance. Um, today I'm top dressing a yard. Now the yard has been affected with brown spot. I've already treated for it, weighted, brought the minerals up because this is two types of grass. This is a warm season grass. This is centipede grass mixed with Bermuda and uh, I have overseeded today with Bermuda and now we're spreading top dressing which is compost down on this yard. You can see some of the green. That's all that's all Bermuda. All the light colored stuff is all the stuff that we bagged out of this yard. Same thing here. And you can see where it starts in these empty lots where the landscapers who do the neighborhood don't clean their blades. <laughs> they don't they just spread disease. So it's infected my yard that I take care of here. This is what I've raked off the front lawn here. This is what I consider diseased grass right there. Bag it, get rid of it, do not use it for mulch, don't use it for anything else. Now with that said, um, you can see the malorganite that I put down two weeks ago, starting to green the grass, same thing over there. I'll come back and hit it with some micronutrients. I'll do a spray today. This yard has a lot of slope in the front, so a lot of rain off, I mean, excuse me, runoff from the water. So I don't like to use peat moss, but peat moss, it really works well to hold in the water. It's just not a renewable, it's not a, it is a renewable source, but as much as we farm it, you know, I'm talking about everyone, makes it non renewable. This is the, the yard, kind of sparse. You can see where we top dressed two weeks ago and the grass is growing little tiny bitty blades of Bermuda I'm gonna overseed this in the front because anytime you have damage with centipede it takes forever for it to grow so I'm gonna switch this yard over to Bermuda entirely these are bags of peat moss that I'm gonna put in this section another section and you can see where the chloresis or the yellowing starting of of the centipede grass and you can see where we've kind of, you can see the dividing line down through there with the milgranite. Put a light application down, did about a quarter of a pound so that I can fertilize it four times a year. And uh, I don't know how well you guys can see this. Let me turn this camera around. Oh, I guess I keep it today. But uh, that's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking for. This is what I'm fixing today. You can see where two weeks ago I planted the Bermuda. It's already growing in this section. And there's some baby green blades growing through there. I'm going to let this Bermuda take over. Bermuda is considered a weed some places because <laughs> it grows so fast. Compared to centipede, it definitely is a weed. So, by, uh, I don't know, I'd say four weeks, one month. This will be a phenomenal lawn, again. You can see where I lightly striped it through there. I was just cutting it yesterday, just so I could come and overseed. I'll leave the grass kind of high in the back here where the centipede is. It's uh, an inch and a half, believe it or not. And you can see where the milgranite kind of spread because of the rain. <laughs> Same thing going up there. I need to uh, fertilize up through there. I mean, next month, I wanted to wait to let this grass seed that I'm putting down today because I knew I was going to overseed it after I overseed it. I want to see what took, what didn't take. That way, we're not spending too much money on grass seed. You're not overdoing it with the grass seed. You can see the Bermuda is starting to take over in the front where there's always been a problem with issue with drainage where the water just runs off this lot. But that will be fixed. Today, I'll be uh, spraying. This is some of the stuff I like to use. I know a lot of guys don't cover a lot of topics, but... Micronite. This contains magnesium, boron, magnesium, copper, zinc. Basically all your, your micronutrients. And you'll just read the directions in the label and you can uh, follow along and get it correct when you spray it in your backpack sprayer or your handheld sprayer, whatever you use. If you're using uh, two other products that I recommend, this is what I did a couple weeks ago. Trimec. This is for uh, southern broadleaf herbicide for sensitive southern grass. 
that's your centipede guys this is some of your other warm season grass you definitely want to use this for your your broad leaf now with that said if you have saint augustine this is southern ag i uh, i recommend it just follow directions on these gang on these uh on these this is good for centipede also but uh you can see the price tags on them <laughs> follow the directions if you use those and those those are if you want to use a chemical weed killer there you go uh, a lot of people like to use different home remedies personally i have a uh, nut sedge in my yard i use sugar and i have a way to keep the the ants and the bugs out i'll get into that in a later video but i just wanted to share this today and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed and uh hopefully you guys have some green lawns this year and uh, I'm top dressing today with compost in that yard. I've already done that yard. Now I'll do the peat moss in this yard on top of it. Now that some of the blades have already come through and I've overseeded. So I'm going to make this video short. And I appreciate your time for watching my videos. Thank you so much. And you guys have a great day.